Hey everybody, it's uh, Brian, Mr. Buzzlet, bringing you a what I bought video, and this one is going to turn into a wholesale video. So I'm going to offer to flip the deal or make it into smaller lots so that the that the masses can purchase. Uh, really super excited about this deal. I am here in South Carolina. You guys can kind of see the warehouse all flipped around so that you can all see it. <clears throat> uh, this is just our detached garage. I have to buy land and build a building to handle all of the merchandise that's in Pennsylvania. So, a lot to do yet. Really stressed out about it, but in the long term, I think this is the right move. So, let's get into it. I'll show you guys the the garage here, uh, which houses probably about 120,000 of our eBay listings. And then this is where we're going to do our auctions from and everything else. So, let's take a look. <clears throat> okay, so... This is at our house on our property. I will show you guys. <clears throat> we have an outside shed, and that's our house. And uh, this is the garage. We have the truck still here, and uh, that's our garage. So, obviously, we've updated a lot of stuff here, but we have really good lighting in here. Here's all the filing cabinets that house all of our uh, press photos and government reports that are on eBay so we can ship. And Kim does most of the shipping over here. We just bought this early Victorian era uh, desk or buffet, server, whatever you want to call it. Uh, really nice. It is a vintage piece, as you can see here. Got dovetail drawers. There's part of a label inside. You know, it was just nice. I got this at Habitat for Humanity. I think I paid a hundred dollars. I just thought it was a really nice looking piece and certainly. <clears throat> now let's get to what's really exciting. Um, I shopped a little bit yesterday. I'm going to be doing the auction down here tomorrow. I found these awesome purple ball mason jars. They're very very rare. The two lids have been replaced. Um, if they had the right lids, they're they're extremely rare. <clears throat> but as you guys can see, there's more Star Wars and toys. Stuff for the auction tomorrow. A Rascal Flat signed hat, also signed by about six other country stars. There's clothing, starter jackets, all kinds of really interesting items <clears throat> that'll be coming up at auction. But get to the meat and potatoes of this video. As you can see in front of you are stacks of four. Five across, 20 boxes. These boxes are still sealed. They haven't been opened. They've been taped closed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pause the video, take that knife and unseal the boxes, and then we'll open a couple together. I'll show you guys what's there, and I will make the pitch so that you guys can see what I'm willing to do for you. These are all Victorian 1870s to about 1905 advertising trade cards. I bought about, there, there's in the neighborhood of 12 to 15,000. Uh, it's probably closer to the 15,000 mark because I can see that he had wrote there's 839 cards in this one box <clears throat> times 20 boxes is about 17,000 cards. I saw some boxes that were marked 700, some boxes that were marked 650, so we'll just take an average and say there's 14 to 15,000 cards. Um, I originally was going to just make it available as a flip, so if somebody's interested, you guys know the drill, email me at mrbuyslot 795 at gmail.com if you're interested in the whole deal, and I'll be able to work with you a little bit on price, <clears throat> but... In this video, I'm actually going to make them into smaller lots, and I will tell you guys the pricing in just a second. Okay, so I've done all of the boxes over there. <clears throat> I've cut them open. I figured I would let you guys see the last two here as I cut them open, and we'll open them up. You can see they're taped. Generally, I don't cut towards myself. 
bad things happen, especially early in the morning like this. And we'll do this one quick. Ooh, double tape this one. I was really excited about this stuff. I got it in on Saturday. Today is Monday. Um, I was going to open them and dig through them over the weekend. I got busy, and I also thought you guys would really enjoy getting to see it as I get to see it. Okay. And I'm going to bring the camera over here a little better and see if we can give you guys a little better view. Okay, so these are all Victorian trade cards. Just have to make sure that I'm on camera here. You can see these are have a pass, have rates. These are really beautiful. These are probably a blank that's a corkscrew. Written in French for a dessert of some sort. Ah. Okay. Little nutcracker with the cute little kids. Really art nouveau, beautiful on that one. This one is a poured over wine goblet. Looks like Napoleon. So you can tell some of them are out of scrapbooks. Some of them are unused blanks. This one has the old coins. Oh, geez, I am just all over the place this morning. Good thing I did that because I didn't show you guys on the back of the coin one. Nice little advertisement. Some just beautiful cards. Got the bear. Chocolate Grindard. History of Rome. You can see here these are also from a cocoa or a chocolate. Roman history. So there are just some beautiful cards. I'm not going to sit and show you every single one. And a lot of them are upside down, so I'll flip them over for you. you can see it has a little bit of rubber band on it. There. No, no more. Don't. The lithography is just beautiful on these cards. Like all the kids, you can tell. It's really gorgeous. They're building a snowman, playing in the snow. They are just absolutely beautiful. The condition is amazing on these cards. Look how cute. Confections and novelties. The beautiful little Victorian girl. The character ones are really awesome I like when you can find like the there's anamorphic like where animals or vegetables and fruits take on human faces and stuff like that those are really good and when you guys resell these which I know a bunch of you already do make sure to mention things that you see in them you know like this one's got hunting dogs if you notice, there's a little boy in red and a little boy in blue, the little jockey. They're riding the dogs. It's really cute. So you want to mention that they're dogs. If you can make out what kind of dog, you want to mention that. Um, there's a lot of people who collect specifically children cards. Oriental's really hot. So Oriental cards do exceptionally well. But needless to say, this whole box is all Victorian trade cards. Um, this is, I, I just sold, if you guys saw, the video where I bought about, I think it was around 9,000 cards, uh, recently, and those were awesome, they were a great deal, they sold, I sold, I flipped the entire lot, I bought it on Sunday, and it was sold by Tuesday from the channel here, so I'd like to thank you guys for doing that, I like passing on the deals. Look, this one's like Olympics sports athletes. So you can see like pole vaulting and long jump. It looks like a javelin throw and track. 
sailing. And like I said, this is just a random assortment, but they're they're just beautiful. Um, and what we're going to do for pricing, guys, is this. In my auctions that you guys come to, I'm sure a lot of you do, you've seen us sell tray lots of 20 to 30 trade cards, along with albums and stuff like that. Some of our albums have done $800 to $1,000 with 100, 120 of these in it. That places them around 8 bucks a piece. The cheapest lot we have done in the past couple months, which is, you know, relatively recent, we've been selling lots of about 20 to 30, and they've been doing anywhere from uh, about $60 to $300. So, which gives us an average price of 3 to $10 per card. Um, it all just depends on what the card is of. Uh, some cards bring hundreds of dollars. Uh, if you get the right ones, you know, here's like a native fishing. You know, there will be black Americana. There will be dogs. There's Oriental. There will be kids with a policeman. He's probably a pickpocket. Um, you know, fabric. Especially if you can read French, these turn out a little better. But I think the majority of it is French. Just by the way that the... The writing is on them at least he told me that he he figured the assortment and the majority was foreign which to me is great because we don't find quite as many of them here there's military again kids and music if i was going to list this card i would list it as uh, little girls children musical Victorian trade card and then I would try to take a front and a back picture and give the size and go that route so in our auctions we get three to ten dollars per card so some cards will bring a lot more than others ones with bicycles early uh, this one's got a black Americana image in the back so you get all kinds of stuff like that different important figures, circuses, clowns, animals. That one's really cool with the goat cart. Silhouettes are awesome. So here's what we're going to do, guys. Um, I am willing to sell the entire deal if somebody wants to email me and talk to me about it. But we're going to make the offer for everybody. So here's what we're going to do. A hundred trade cards... For $250 shipped, that is less per trade card than the cheapest lot I've sold in auction in the past at all. I, I don't think I've ever sold a lot for under $2.50 a trade card in the auction. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make them available to you guys. A lot of 100 for $250. I'm going to make it even better for you because I've obviously got a lot of bills down here and need to flip deals. So if you buy five lots, it's $1,000. That makes them $200 a lot instead of it being, oh, that would be $1,250. So I'm saving you $250 if you buy 500 cards. So that drops them down to $2 a card. So that's what we're going to do. They are $2.50 a card in lots of 100 So if you want one, you will comment below. I will put my email address up here. But you will comment below, sold, the letter X, and the number of lots that you want. So if you want three lots, you will write sold X3. Then you will email me. You must email me at my email address, mrbuysalot795 at gmail.com with your shipping information, your PayPal email address so I can send you an invoice, and what you're buying. So just put trade cards up in the, in the title or in the subject, and then how many lots you want, your PayPal email address, and your shipping address. I figured this way it opens it up for everyone um, who doesn't have, you know, 
25 or $30,000 to spend, but wants to have a chance to buy 120 year old trade cards that are in remarkable condition. Uh, you may get some duplicates because what I will do is I'm not going to go through these boxes um, until we sell the lots. That way, you know, whoever buys the first hundred, I'm going to take a hundred from the front of this box, count out a hundred, and that's what you'll get, a hundred directly. And I'm going to go through all of these boxes and do the same thing as we sell lots. I am guessing that we're going to have, I mean... I think there's around 15,000 total cards, so I'm going to say we're going to have 125 lots available. I will bring some of these to auction. Those are awesome. Um, I will bring some of these to auction in the meantime. So if you guys want to bid on you know, a tray lot of 20 or something like that, you can come to the auction and do so. All the different great costumes. These all have advertising on the back. Chicory a la Berge, and then Emile Bunzel. So these are just, the lithography and the art are just beautiful on early Victorian stuff. So again, you comment below, sold, how many lots you want to buy. See, like these are the same. These are... Blank front. Oh, no, there was three of the same. Hunting you know, rhinos. Fishing. So just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful illustrations and cards. So hopefully this video finds you guys well. This collection is amazing. I'm going to have a hard time not looking through it because, you know, you could hit one baseball one or one sports one that could be a lot of money. But remember guys, comment below and you must email me at mrbizalot 795 at gmail.com. The offer, you guys will write trade card lot, how many you want are sold, X, how many lots you want, $250 per lot. I will add those words up into the uh, video. $250 per lot of 100 or five lots for $1,000. So that drops them down to $200 a lot. Or, yeah, $200 a lot. And shipping is included inside the United States. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And sorry I haven't had time to make a bunch. I will see you guys at the auction tomorrow. I am doing it. And we will be doing it from here in South Carolina. So I appreciate everybody watching. You guys are amazing. Hope everybody's businesses are doing well. We are in fourth quarter. So make those sales, and we will see you at the auction. Remember, comment below if you want to buy some lots of these at $250 per lot, and email me at mrbuyslot795 at gmail.com. Thanks, guys.